Hey y'all, it's Andy at Muscle in the Mountains and I am back down here in Marion, North Carolina at the Tom Johnson Camping World with the Route 70 Cruisers for their Mountain Thunder Memorial Day weekend car show. This thing, we, we've been here several times. I love this show. Great people, great organization. They do a lot for the community, raising money for different things, stuff like that. So great cars. Let's walk around and see what we can see. All right, y'all, this looks like a great place to start for me. Check it out. Yes, that's a GTX. Yes, that's a 68 GTX. And looky here, that's a Hemi 68 GTX. I mean, my goodness. Is that gorgeous or what, huh? Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love the color. Love the styling on these 68s. I mean, that's just really, really nice. Check out the hood. That's awesome. Awesome. Yes, of course, you know, you got the little, the little, uh, tiny round markers on there giving it away that it's a 68 nice even like that stripe that's pretty cool love these wheels that's just gorgeous that is gorgeous so then my next question is where was this car last weekend when I shot this all Mopar show <laughs> Which, of course, I will link to this video and you can go see the All Mopar show from last weekend in Marion. Man, that's incredible. Wow, what a car. Nice. All right, y'all, check it out. One of my favorite Chevelles, 66 Chevelle. 66 SS 396. There you go. Isn't that sweet? black check it out very cool gorgeous gorgeous ride american racing wheels very nice car love a chevelle like a hood Yeah, it's awesome. Very nice. So we have this sweet square body. Cheyenne 10. Gorgeous pickup. Very cool. Check it out. Nice. Very nice. We have it to 75. Yeah, that's cool. Very, very cool. Love the wheels. Check this out. Good looking hot rod. It's a 36 Ford. Love the pinstriping. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's cool. Check out this inside. <laughs> See the shifter knob. That's great. Very cool. Love this color. Alright, I'll check this out. Look at this. Look at that color. That little stripe. Is that beautiful or what? That's a pretty shabby pickup. Very, very nice. Love it, love it, love it. 
Nice. Really cool. Alright, check out this Mustang. Fastback. We got a Carol Shelby signature on it. Nice. The 65, folks. Twenty nine fastback Mustang. American Racing Wheels. Very nice. Straight drive. Cool ride here. Sweet square body Chevy. It's an 87 model. My buddy in high school had one about like this, except his was brown and a lot taller. <laughs> All right, y'all check out this Caprice, 66 Caprice. Very cool. I was just speaking with the uh, owner of this great ride. He said, just picked this up recently. Been sitting in a barn for a couple decades. Very cool. I love cars like this. You know, everything doesn't have to be a spit shined, perfect show car. I like cars with a history, story to tell, right? Cars with a little personality and character. That's awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Got a few new, new arrivals over here at the Tom Johnson's Camping World. Check this out. Is this gorgeous or what? That's <laughs> cool. Love that styling. Very nice. These are awesome. 51 Ford. I got a friend with a 51 Ford. Almost just like this, except his is black. Remember the uh, the philosophy of Henry Ford? You can have your car in any color you want, as long as it's black. Nope. We got a red one here, folks. <laughs> That's really cool. Really cool. So you got side pipes going on down there. 51 Ford. Very nice. So you got out 56 Chevy. And awesome. Love the color. These are so beautiful. So gorgeous. Love all the Tri-5 Chevys, the five, six, sevens. The sixes are just sweet. Very nice. So this is a 210 sedan, not a Bel Air. Not all of these are Bel Air, I always remember that. <clears throat> 56 Chevy, got some modern interior going on here, I love it. Very nice. I think those wheels look good on that one. Let me get you down there, there we go. It's a gorgeous car, very nice. I like the exhaust tips, that's sweet. Here we go. 66 Ford, one of the best looking Ford pickups, those 65 and 6s, that interior, I love this color scheme, this two-tone blue is just beautiful, twin I-beam, Ford 100, custom cab, love these door handles, isn't that awesome, that's cool, very cool, gorgeous, 66 Ford, Blue and white, that's nice. Got a good sounding hot rod coming in here now. See how this one. Check it out. Roush Mustang. Wow. That'll move right there, folks. That will move. I like those wheels on that. That really suits it. I think. 
pretty color very nice yeah Rouse is pretty sweet pretty sweet it's a beast right there brother it's fun I bet it is I bet it is what kind of gas mods you get I don't know <laughs> that's that's not what it's about <laughs> right so, 06 yep 06 that's awesome very nice very nice there you go y'all I know it sounded good but man yeah that's tough right there that is gorgeous love this color too that is just wow yeah tough tough hot rod right there folks that's awesome so awesome look at this Huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Love it. Everything about that. That's awesome. I said, well, tell you what. There you go. Come on, guess that's a wrap. I love that kind of satin finish. Very cool. Bonus cab. Check these wheels. Massive. Pretty cool on that one. There you go. There's Phillips' awesome ride. Love this car. Such a beauty. Very, very cool. See how this Cheyenne. Nice. Love this. Love this truck. Seen this one a few times. Never gets old. 72. 72 Chevy. Got Riddler wheels going on. And a pair of C10s out here today. Check it out. A little newer. That's awesome. Very nice. Got the shop truck style paint going on. More Riddler wheels. These things are getting popular these days now. For big wheels, I like them. Check this out. Belvedere 2. Isn't that gorgeous? Super Commando. Nice. Big old 440. Seen this car a couple times and I love it. Check out this interior. It's one of my favorite things about this ride. Look at this. Is that cool or what? Gorgeous color. Got kind of a pearl look to it. <clears throat> but that. That impression in there, that's just awesome. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's one sweet Belvedere. 440 Super Commando. It's a 66, y'all. 66. And then one of my favorite cars. Certainly one of my favorite 1967 cars. Gorgeous. Dodge Charger. It's a 440. There you go. Got the little lights here, differentiating between the 66 and 7. And a little bit different console going on. See? There you go. Yeah. 67. Love the way this thing opens up. Seats fold down. Awesome. 
Man, these cars are so much cooler than cars today. <laughs> God, I love a 67. Good, good looking car, Lawrence. Love it every time. Check this out. Love that. Love that paint. Nice. Very cool interior going on. This thing's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Good looking forward. Very nice. Wow. Ford Deluxe. Mustang Cobra. 97. Man, I'd love to have that engine. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty awesome right there, bro. That, I believe, is about cool as it gets in 97. Very nice. Uh, check out this Ford. Now that is nice. Love the styling. It's sniper going on. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> A 54 model, folks. Isn't that awesome? 54. Straight drive. Wow. Have Marilyn Monroe going on in the back. It's a 54 custom cab F100. Very cool. Check it out. 39 model. That's sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. Good looking ride. Good looking ride. Wow. This interior. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. Lots of good looking Fords here today. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> nice. All right, y'all. 37 Ford with a 383 stroker. Nice. <laughs> Heartbeat of America. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe it has a Dana 60 rear end. Who knows? Good looking forward. Powered by Chevy. <laughs> awesome. All right, here we go. Check out this Hemi. These are awesome. 07 RT Magnum. Remember when these came out, I was like, wow, that's a really cool looking wagon style. Tough Magnum. Very cool. All right, y'all, check this out. Something you don't see every day for sure. 68 Hemi GTX. I'm here with my friend, Lyndon. How you doing, brother? Doing well, thank you. Good, good. How long you had this car? Almost a year. Oh wow! So wow, you're you're really uh, really just getting used to it. I can imagine uh, it's just awesome. Uh, it's one of the coolest cars ever made, in my opinion. It's a true J code car. Wow! And every panel on it is correct. Wow! There's a 60-page Dave Wise report laying there in the seat. Wow! That documented all the panels. There was no rust. Um, oh my goodness. This is incredible. Incredible. Original so, Indiana car. I've got the original title. 
Nice. 78,000 actual miles. Wow. So how many of these in Hemi's were made, do you know? In the, yeah, it's in that report. I can't a, remember yeah. off the top of my head. Wow. Original color, original glass. And what is that color? Poly mist green. Poly mist green, okay. I think the the 68 styling is just so cool. Yeah, uh, I love the big bodies. Love the shape of these. I mean, I love the 70s, but they took out a lot of that, a lot of that wave, you know, yep. a lot of that curve. And I don't know, that, that curve's just awesome. Yep. You know, the, these are just gorgeous. See that, look at the Coke bottle shape kind of going on there. That's just awesome. Really, really cool. Really cool. It's a great car. It's fun to drive. Oh, I bet. I bet. This is honestly one of the nicest I've seen, and I've seen several of these. Well, that's why I traded the car I'd had for 60 years for it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and what was that again? 69 RT. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you had a good one, but mercy. And when did they start the pistol grip on these? Well, like you, this depended. Okay, so if you could you have it in 68. You could have a pistol grip if you wanted, or you could have the shifter just like that. Right, okay. I've driven chargers with that same shifter in them. Okay. Road runners. Love the GTX interior. That wood grain. That's gorgeous. I bet that's a comfortable car. It is. This is a rich man's Roadrunner. Oh yeah. It's a Roadrunner badge as a GTX. And then of course you had the Hemi. Right. And if you get underneath it and look, it's got all the torque boxes. It's got the skid plate underneath it that were only put on on the Hemis. Wow. That styling on the rear end, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really cool. Really cool. Love these wheels. Looks great, brother. Thank you. Looks great. Well, Linda, thank you so much for talking to us, and we look forward to uh, seeing you again in the future, brother. All right, I'll, I'll think about that. You gonna be here all day? All right, y'all, check it out. Good looking Chevy pickup. A couple of Mustangs here. Nice GT. There you go. It's a 99 model. Nice. And much newer. Check it out, GT350. Love these. Love that stripe. That's a beast right there, folks. Yep, 2018 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350. Nice. All right. Check these out. '69 Chevy Corvair. There you go. Very cool. And, check it out. 66 Corsa Sprint. How cool is that? You don't see these every day. Corvairs, two of them, nice. Very cool. One bike for the day. <laughs> I'm good, are you brother? I hope you win the bike award. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gorgeous ride though. Very nice. Very cool. Love the color. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's go around this side. Check it out. Ford Falcon Futura. Convertible. Very nice. How are you, sir? Yeah, good. How are you? Good, good. Oh, now that's what I like to hear. I know it's a little cloudy out, but anytime I see a convertible, I want to see it with the top down. How about you guys? Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. 
Very cool. All right, y'all, check it out. I'm here with my buddy David and his 55 Thunderbird. Love these cars. How you doing, brother? Great. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, doing well. The little Thunderbirds are some of my favorite cars. I mean, it's the styling on these is so cool. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I can only imagine if they had kind of kept with that. Right. Instead of going to the big, you know, luxury cars later yeah, on. But yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's some cool Thunderbirds out there, but the the first three years of Thunderbirds That's is just it. really awesome. That's it, yeah. So for sure. you haven't had this very long. No, I just got a couple of weeks ago. Awesome. Well, it looks fantastic. Glad to see you already out uh, out showing it. Yeah, this very is cool. this is first trip. Awesome. First show. Now, so we got a 55. Um, so that would have the, the soft top and the hard top, That's right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah, I love that you got the top off it. We got a few clouds, oh, but yeah, you know. Yeah, it's convertible. Uh, yeah, you got, I mean, if you got a convertible, you got to show it that you way, right? You got to the top down. Yeah, That's I right. totally agree. I'm 100% I'm right. on that. Yeah. Yeah, I love the interior on these. Very cool looking car. The styling is just so great. So great. So, you were telling me the engine's not 55. The engine is a 57 Thunderbird. Wow. It's, and it's been changed over to a 12 volt system. Okay. And it's got uh, factory power steering, power brakes, and power seats. Wow. Automatic. Nice. Well, let's check out that engine. Okay. I just picked this up, so I haven't haven't changed anything. Wow. This, so this is the way you got it, right? This is the way I got it. So, love one of my favorite things about these early Thunderbirds is these valve covers. Right, right. They are yep. so cool. Yeah, yeah. And you know they do a pretty good job on the the aftermarket replacement ones. Yeah. But you can still you can spot these originals. Yeah, they they you really yeah you know, just have a real cool authentic look to oh, them. Oh sure. Yeah. I love that. So what size is this engine? This is three twelve. Three twelve. Okay. Came with the two ninety two. Okay. And it was a six volt. And then uh, a previous owner put the 57 <clears throat> Thunderbird engine. Yeah. Uh, which is a 312 and changed it over to a 12 volt. Right. And you still got the generator going on. Still got the 12 volt generator. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Now, one of the things that amazes me or, or kind of baffles me, I guess, about these early Thunderbirds that I noticed on one that I was looking at before, you know, one of the things that that Ford owners have kind of always had on the Chevy guys is that the distributor cap was in the front. Right. Not that way on the Thunderbirds. It, that's right. Not that way on that's these old right. Thunderbirds. It was it was in the they, back. They put and it I in always the back. thought that was wild. But yeah, that is that was a Ford engine. Yeah. But it has that's the correct. distributor in the back. That's correct. Yeah. Really wild. Well brother, your car is awesome. Love Thank these you. cars. Thank you. So Great to meet you, brother, and thanks so much. Nice to meet you, and thank you. All right, check it out, y'all. One of our favorite Chevelles. This thing is a beast. We filmed this car here. We filmed this car at uh, at Rod Run. This car was at Rod Run in, in the spring this year. And it is just a great, great, great Chevelle. Now, this is one of those, we have to explain this car a little bit, because this car confused me the first time I saw it. It is a 72 but it has 71 uh, turn signals, just because he likes them better, and so do I. So, <clears throat> but it's 72 grill, 72 car, and it's a beauty. Powerful, love, love this uh, color, love everything about it. So nice, so nice. <coughs> Excuse me, there you know, there you go. Awesome, awesome ride. Yeah, this car. Nice. Very cool. Super deluxe. Good looking forward. Nice. Very cool ride. Very cool ride. Alright, check it out. Wow. Good looking forward. It's a 1950. Craigers. There's some of that Ford Black. 1950. 
very cool. Very, very nice. Yes, sir. Alright, y'all, check this out. Huh? Is that tough or what? Nomad. Very cool. Love it. 59 Nomad. Love these 59s. See how the see how that sweep is so gradual right there? That's a good way to spot those 59s. Um, a little bit later, 60-61s, they got like a angle to them rather than a sweep like that. That is just gorgeous. Very cool. Very cool. 59 Nomad. Love the color. Look at that styling. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, we got some modern conveniences in that interior. Some new wheels going on. Love that paint color, though. That is just awesome. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Pick up leaving. Good looking truck. Yeah, that's awesome right there. Nice. Check this out. Huh? Is that cool or what? Love the white walls. 50, 47 Buick. 47 Buick. That styling. Wow. Yep. That's awesome. That's awesome. The Buick 8. That's a beast right there. Nice. I love that they got the white walls on that. That's really cool. Check it out. Is that, is that cool or what? Yeah. That's a tough truck. All kinds of vehicles keep showing up. I don't think this was there when I went through the first time. Check out the Gulf coloring. Right? Blue and orange. Nice. I like the way it sits. It's quick. It's great. Hey, right, I'll check out this really cool El Camino. This interior. Wow. Is that wild or what? Dang. <laughs> That's crazy. 85 El Camino. Wow. It's a beast too. Dang. There you go. Sweet. All right, y'all check it out. We got shelter dogs here at the Memorial Day car show. <laughs> See if we can get these guys a home. There you go. Hey there, buddy. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this one today. I hope you have enjoyed that. Uh, I'm sure you did. So go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure you're subscribed and watch all the way to the end on these videos. There's a whole lot more. So check out that next one right here.